We are now going to be looking at the contributions made by employers to retirement funds. So this is when your employer pays your pension fund or provident fund contributions or part of it. Now, there's actually a formula involved and it's a bit of a calculation. However, for the purposes of your psycho ITC exam of pronouncements, they've told you that they will tell you what the paragraph 12D fringe benefit amount will be in the exam. So that's actually what you need to know. Now guys, all I want you to understand is that the amount that they've given to you as a paragraph 12D fringe benefit in the exam, that amount you will then also use in your section 11F deduction. Okay, so let me explain. So let's just say this person earns a salary of 500,000 rands, uh, makes contribution of 10,000 per month to Provident Fund. That's a taxpayer. The employer also contributes and the paragraph 12D amount is, let's say, 40,000 for the year. Okay, so when you do your tax, it will be salary, 500,000, the paragraph 12D fringe benefit, 40,000. Obviously gets added. Right, add everything up, do your CGT, then section 11F, your actual contributions, is then by the employer, is that 40,000? And by the taxpayer, he makes a contribution of 10,000 rands a month, so 120,000 rands. So 160, and then limited to the lesser of 350 or 27.5% times the greater of remuneration or taxable income. The remuneration will be everything that you receive from the employer. So it will be the 540,000 there. Right, taxable income is also 540,000. That's 27.5% times 540, 148.500, right? Or the taxable income excluding CGT, which is also 540. So which one is the lesser? 148, that's limited to 148,500. We have 160,000 that we've contributed. 148,500 is the limit, so our deduction, 148,500. Right, so, sorry, there's a, it's part of my calculation that runs down here. That's our deduction. Right, so that's what paragraph 12D does, guys. Simple as that.